Hello again everybody, this is Beetlebuckin7, back with some more Pickle Cellar. In the last part we took care of these rooms, they were mud rooms. And these are also mud rooms, we'll also take care of them. Okay, alright, enough blabbering now. What is being asked of us here? Okay, so there's floor. That's floor. To be honest, it looks like... Oh, okay, it's a water corner tile. Okay. That was, a, that was a little concerned. Okay, so what the heck do I even want to do here? Okay, so open, close, open, close. What do I have to... Kill the eyes before the doors are open? Alright, I'll see where the issue here is. I'll drop all the chapters. Okay. This is surprisingly easy. I have to be honest here. This, uh, I mean, this, that trick was clever. You had to only drop one of the doors first, but well, afterwards it turned out to be pretty easy. And so yeah. This room. <laughs> okay. Nothing else on this level, so let's go down to the course south once east. What is this? Okay, it's, it's a giant blob of mud. Now, what does that do for me? This opens a path to the queen. It will spawn a roach unless I'm quick enough. So, uh, okay. Let's just hit that orb. Okay, I could probably hit it on turn 30. Okay. Wait, I need to kill a queen now, what? Um... Do I have to like produce a large amount of mud babies and shove them on in there? Okay, but first and foremost, I don't even know how to deal with this. Oh, broken wall. Okay. Now let's go through the, through the motions. Yeah, this that broken wall is actually kind of hard to tell apart. Yeah. Okay, so I'll drop on it. Okay, so. Okay, so that's how we deal with this. Now, okay, for the rock golem, I'm gonna need to have like a million mud babies. I just don't see another way to do this than to do that. <laughs> 
tedious mud cutting. Hooray. Okay, so come here. Oh boy, I just realized though. Okay, let's try that from the other angle. <laughs> Should be this one, I guess. How many mud babies do I need for this? I think a fair amount. At the very least, 10, 20, 3, 4, 5. I think more than 25. Definitely. This is gonna be kind of annoying. Let's be honest here, it probably will be. Okay. Okay, let's, see. let's try to do this. This setup right here, I have to run pretty much immediately to the. I okay, no, wait, I have a few extra turns. Like at least three. I'll do something with those turns. Okay, so how many did I produce with that? Okay, this. Okay. Six. Okay, that's ten. Thirteen, fifteen. Twenty. That's twenty-four, right? There I have twenty-four. Which is like just above the number that I said I needed. Like just barely. No, I think that'll actually be enough. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna get that to where it is. Or where it should be anyway. I think I might have an idea. Bear with me here. Okay, now this is gonna this is not gonna work because of uh, stuff and other similar dumb reasons. I guess I could keep circling. No, I can't. The reason I can't is because th there's gonna be at least a few of these fellers that is just gonna be deciding to follow me on a trip around the earth. I don't want that. I don't want to be followed. Why are you following me? Stop following me, freaks. <sighs> okay. I think, yeah, as I said, the best solution is to just go with this. Since there's no force arrows, there's no real easy way to stuck the tar, uh, the mud babies anywhere. Which makes this complicated. But really, even if there were force arrows, probably be done like this because that's more difficult. <laughs> Dang it! You and your challenge, Chaco. Okay, that's a good start. Now, if I could somehow just stop that one mud baby from doing what it's doing. There.
okay, so if I make a straight line through all this, then I should make it there with uh, very little time to spare. Okay. Please, I might also have to cut something else in here. Okay, so with that set up, I think this is the optimal setup, but nah, I don't know how to make it work because of the stupid roach queen. Just gotta roach queen everything. Yeah, that's not even close to close enough. Okay, now what I would want is to have like a corner where I can cut these things and still have like a little tidbit of protection where I could just shove them. And, like a little overhang here. That that's all I would want. But I can't really have that, I can I? Well, I guess I could try to have the overhang. I mean, I do have extra turns to cut into it, so... Okay, let's try... Yes, I guess. Okay. I can get all the muddies to follow me. Hmm. My direction of the sword is really causing problems here, though. Not that I really have much choice in the direction. It's the only thing that's keeping me from dying here. What about this? No, that's not good enough. This is the best I can do with the, the materials I'm being given here. Good grief. Okay, let's try cutting some into this. No, not like ah. No, that's not good. Ah, stupid mud babies. I hate them all. Their stupid tendency to just get stuck everywhere. Ugh, disgusting. I tell you. Yeah, what I need is a protective shield that will allow me just enough time to get to that ore. But also, I have to cut the mud babies so. That's annoying. It's very annoying, in fact. Okay. Pretty sure this cut is a bad cut. But... Okay. Yeah, I have two dudes now. Now one guy over there is going to keep being a jerk. Uh, 
Mud manipulation, hooray. Okay, seriously, there's gotta be like a trick to this, aside from just executing it, because I know Chaco is very big on linchpins, so... There's gotta be something I'm missing here. What happens this anyway? This opens that? What else closes? Okay, this closes it. So, if with magic I were to. Okay, now that. I could get something stuck there somehow. That would be awesome. I don't think it's possible. That's the thing. Yeah. No work. Not for that stupid Roach Queen timer. I could. Easily, I do say easily, take uh, take out everything in an orderly manner. Like this. But no, she has to have objections to it. Ugh. Roach Queens, I tell you. Always trying to make a big deal out of nothing. Yeah, so this leads... Uh, this leads me to strongly believe that I need to do some form of cutting straight right there at the beginning. So. It doesn't seem to matter which direction I do it in now because it doesn't change anything. Well, you have to spawn our roach, don't you? Oh, wait a minute. Can't I just hack into this stupid thing by going downwards and then upwards? Yeah, I can. Why didn't I think of that? Hold on. Yeah, this stupid thing just got hacked, son. Okay, alright, so... In that case, we want to start from the bottom. Alright. Okay, so let's just cut into a triangle like I've always been so fond of doing for some reason. Okay, let's keep cutting through this. Let's keep cutting through this. Cut through this! Be throw, come on! Stop being so picky about the way you do everything. Good god, man. Grow some shame or something. Okay, so... Okay, that's probably not a good idea because... Okay, this would... Oh, right. That doesn't work because I'm not facing in the right direction and this roach is just gonna be very hostile. Dang it, I thought I had something. Uh, stupid everything. Okay. Um, uh, can I move on to the other rooms? Doesn't seem to be helping me much in that regard. It's a little puzzle where I have to cut everything in an orderly manner, but. Yeah, nothing else here. I think I'll have to face south. Well, southwest for that one. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this thing. Hmm. What's with this queen, anyway? I don't get it. What, what, what's her deal? <sighs> I just guess so. Seriously, how? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to figure this out by now, but I'm not. Clearly I need to have an overhang where, as I said, like a, a little stick of mud that's just gonna stay around and keep the mud babies from uh, attacking me while I take on the orb. But the problem is, because of the way the mud is shaped, it's just not gonna want to stick there. Wait, at this point I pretty much need a 
lob, wouldn't I? Like, hold on. Okay, let's try to not go to that land just yet, and instead do this. Hold on. Okay. I'm using some uh, fancy schmancy technology. Very much not enough. Yeah, cutting anything in the corners is bad unless I can recuperate the three tar babies I've just lost. My this. name is Shut Beef up, Beethro. God damn it. I don't think I can take a dip downwards though, that's the thing. Okay, wait a minute. I'm getting something here. This isn't this is an interesting shape that just happened now. Okay, so So, yeah, these kind of have to die. Okay, let's say they do. Okay, so. Oh, Beethro, can you just not have your sword out like a, like a weird sword exhibitionist freak of sorts? I mean, good God, there's children here. Uh, anything about this? Not right. Ah. Uh, this puzzle is not making me a happy customer. I mean, I I'm probably gonna really enjoy it when I finally figure out the trick. But so now it's just tedious mud baby manipulation, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Let's be honest. I I'm really not. I mean, it's ugh. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out because it's really just. It's not like I'm losing anything like that. Okay. I don't know what that's gonna do for me, but. Ah, <sighs> stupid. Oh, my devil. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's be honest. It's not so much a puzzle that's causing me frustration, but outside noises from uh, interfering sources that I could care less about the presence. Yeah, um, people and their existence provide a continuous and endless source of frustration for my recording attempts. Yes, the misanthropy is real. Uh, and I just, I really would like for this puzzle to end itself and the uh, subsequent uh, problem causing that it does. Ah, the brain is not my friend right now. <sighs> okay, what if I did that same thing I just did now? No. Ah, this is. Uh, this never ending, the suffering that I go through in this puzzle. Okay, uh... Let's cut out this. Uh, 
Okay, what does that do for me? Okay, so the dudes that are there... No, it doesn't work for the same reason that that thing that, uh, that I tried in that other room before wouldn't work. It's because there's not... There isn't a one tile thing where I can... So no matter what I do, I'm always gonna have a stupid tar baby at my heels unless I do some crazy shenaniganry to get them off my feet. Which I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. The only one tile obstacle I can see here is this orb. That's it. Even then, that's like... I'm pretty sure that I couldn't make that work, even if I wanted to. Okay, well this still give me an idea for something I might do though. Okay, so... Okay. This is the most I can manage at this moment. Okay, so... Alright. Good start, good start. Okay, so... Let's cut it like I did. Actually, let's take out some pieces from this. So I think this is the most I could manage without... Uh, Horrible things happening. Okay. So now let's uh, try to get these guys to cooperate, if that's even possible. Okay, it's clear to me that I need to cut this from the other side. Okay, so yes. Anything else working? Ah, those stupid mud babies. I swear I'm gonna punch them in the face if I could. is that? I'm betting the answer is to that is not enough, huh? No, I'd still need the four from this blob. Okay, so that does tell me something, and it's that the properties of things remain constant more or less in the mud cutting. In other words, this didn't do much damage to what I was doing, because it didn't produce any babies, I'm guessing. So... But this does sadly mean to me that I need every stupid mud baby in this uh, formation that I can possibly muster, and that annoys me. So, let's uh, cut this out, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work out for me. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I want to have the blob as complete as possible because that allows me to do this. Then I can cut through here, but I need to get to the stupid orb and oh my god, I hate. I, I honestly, this uh, this honestly has to be my least favorite puzzle because it, there's no linchpin. It's just figuring out how to manipulate a bunch of stupid dumb 
morons. I make a comparison to something, but nothing that wouldn't hurt people's feelings comes to mind, so yeah. Doesn't even. This room isn't even conducive to good humor for crying out loud. What what is this? I mean I know my humor isn't always like the top of the class or whatever, but come on! <laughs> okay, I don't even know what I'm complaining about anymore. This, honestly though, this room is just frankly unfun. Definitely a dud in a sea of otherwise very interesting rooms. This is a feeling I haven't had in a long while, you know, getting stuck in a room because I don't know how to pull it off. Yeah. It's clear that uh, this swarm of easy holds I've been playing as of late has really uh, dumped out my brain. Not to mention, there's the element of timing here. At least it seems to have that element of timing, which honestly kind of annoys me. Okay, so if I did this. No, again, the same issues raise themselves. No matter which, whatever way I do this, the problem is the same. I'm gonna get a stupid bunch of tar babies here. And then what? I'm gonna have to kill them. <laughs> because of the way, because of the fact that there are tar babies on both sides of this blob, I can't loop around it. No matter which way I pull this off, there will always be mud babies on all sides of the equation. No way to stop it, just more ways to frustrate myself, I suppose. Man, there's this jerk who just doesn't care. Get out of my way, stupid jerk! Come on, quit, quit being such a such an uh, such a poop uh, manufactured thing. I mean, good God, it's kind of a uh, crap deal you've got going there, buddy. It's because of this guy. This guy moves before this one, so it's stupid. This is an unmanageable position. I cannot get anyone stuck anywhere because it's just gonna be these guys everywhere. I can't I can't create a dent in the mud because of the way that mud inherently works. I can only cut into the corners, that's about it. That's really frustrating. I really don't wanna give in to the Hints and solutions or whatever, but man, man. <sighs> okay, well, uh, guess I have no choice. I eh? this has been before back in a seven with uh, pickle seller. I'm gonna I'm gonna engage the cheat modules, and I'll get back to you once I have. So then, have a nice one.